Yes, now to a story we've been following for quite some time. Migration to Europe remains a big issue, including at the Davos summit. Today, Sweden's prime minister warned that the continent had two months to address the crisis or the entire EU could be at risk. I-24 News economy correspondent Daniel Roth with the latest developments. The topic of asylum seekers, particularly those from Syria and Iraq, in Europe took center stage at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, as part of the conference's open forum series. And although recent reports show that suitable inclusion of migrant populations has positive impacts on growth, integration has proven to be a challenge for destination countries. If we don't succeed with integration, then we will fail utterly. Um, some, some people have said publicly, we love the country, the country doesn't love us. So it's going to depend on the warmth of the welcome and the comprehensiveness of the integration program. The challenging situation, which has included reported mass sexual assaults over New Year's centered in Cologne, Germany, has led to growing calls for the EU's borders to be closed to curb the flow of people throughout the region. But with 1.7 million workers crossing European internal borders every day and trucks flowing back and forth, there's a cost which the European Commission pegs at over $3 billion a year and perhaps the EU itself. The day will obviously come when we will be wondering whether or not we really need a common currency if there is no longer a single market nor free movement of workers. Meanwhile, countries neighboring the hardest hit areas in the Middle East, such as Syria, have taken in massive numbers of refugees. 1.3 million Syrians have made their way to Jordan, which is equal to 20 percent of their population. And Jordanian Queen Rania was at Davos explaining that while the majority are in cities and towns and economies are feeling the strain, with the proper amount of international support, solutions can be found. And if we get significant support from the international community, we are willing to set up uh, special economic zones that will employ uh, these uh, refugees. Now, when you do that, not only are you giving the refugee the sense of economic self-sufficiency, which will lower the cost of hosting refugees, but you also give him skills and training that he will put to good use once he returns to his country. Taking significant space in a forum such as Davos makes sense. The crisis is ongoing and global, and so the solutions will require international focus and cooperation.